Good morning, modern studders. Let's see if we can get the pigs to go into the new pasture. There are the pigs. What are you doing, girls? You gotta get fed <laughs> down here this morning. Come on. Come on, pigs. Go down around the corner. We'll feed them right there. Come on, piggies. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Right through the brush. Where are, you, where are you, Lynx? Here you come. There you go. Let's take a picture with the phone. A few different shots. So we know what the area looked like before. I'm nervous about checking on the turkey, but he's doing good. Bet you that's what it was. He probably wasn't going inside New York City and getting any food. Morning, mister. You just needed to eat some? You're crazy. We need to move New York City this morning, so I'm not letting the chickens out yet. We gotta finish up our other chores and do a few more things, and then we'll get them moved. How is it? Is it better over here? The chickens don't know what to do. We're getting a lot of questions from the modern steaders about where do our goats sleep if it's on the ground? And no. They just got up, but they love sleeping on their bunk that Olivia built for them. I'll put a link to that video right here. Huh, girls? You like the bunk bed, don't you? They prefer sleeping up high. Yeah, huh. Goats, by nature, like to be as high as they can. What? Are you chewing your cud? How are your pigs liking it, huh? So somebody left in the comments, move New York City with your truck. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's do that this morning. Instead of switching over the York rake back and forth on the tractor. You pigs liking it over there? Some nice lush green greens. Better shut off the water. Perfect.
Well, it's raining out. It's a good thing for the GoPro. I can still record while it's raining. Close. Let's get our water hook back up. Nice. It's raining out so that rainwater bucket will get filled back up if it's low. Yeah, not too bad. For us, a truck is an essential piece of farm equipment that you we need to have anyways if we want to go get hay or pick up animals we can have a truck we live on a private road that's unmaintained from the town and we get lots of snow here so having a good dependable plow vehicle is also a must It's gonna be close this time, guys. Turkey's doing good. Oh, so close. All right. might do it. Perfect. I better shut that off or I'll get zapped. You girls ready now? Do you have enough excitement for the day? Oh, Moose, you ready to come out? Look at that, fresh grass. There you go, Moose. They did a really good job over there. You can see, it's not showing up on camera as much, but you can see they, where they were the last week and the grass is a lot shorter. So these stakes right here, that's our property line. We own this way and then where we cleared, it's like an L back out. This little spot right here is not ours. As I got a new mineral feeder, <coughs> for the chickens at Tractor Supply the other day. I'm gonna put out free choice kelp on one side. And then in the other bucket, we're gonna bring out our oyster shells. So we want to give Moose and his ladies, yeah, we're talking about you, Moose, some free choice minerals.
All right, so we'll do kelp in one, which they normally don't eat much of, but if they need it, they have it. And then we will put the oyster shells. Perfect. We don't need that water anymore. If you've been wondering where's everybody else been in the videos the last few days is my sister's been up with her two girls and they've been taking Olivia on daily adventures and they've been having a blast. Gina's been busy working and tonight all the girls are staying at a hotel so it's just gonna be me here. We're gonna have our own little adventure later on. You girls liking it over here? You getting plenty to eat? Curious to see if the chickens have been into the minerals at all. And they've been in the calcium and they've been in the seaweed. So that's good. You ladies liking your free choice minerals? Moose. You're the protector. But also over here we have some really bad, I think it's Japanese knotweed, it's an invasive species. And the girls have been going to town eating it. Yes. They're really liking it. Curious to see how many eggs we have today. While I'm collecting eggs, I got a funny story to tell you. We've been getting a lot of them, and Gina's been a little overwhelmed by all of them. Never mind moose. And I chipped my tooth the other day, so I had to go to the dentist. He couldn't fix it, but he smoothed it over. And we had a lot of eggs left. And he's kind. He's our kind of people. They're modern steaders. All of them are. All the hygienists and the dentists. So I thought it'd be kind of funny, and I brought him over some eggs. They wouldn't accept them as payment, but it was still kind of fun. You know, I wanted to show up with some chickens in hand saying, hey, I'm here to pay my bill. But I figured that might not be too appropriate. So here we are. We got a whole bunch of eggs left. All right, girls, enjoy yourself. Come on, Pluto, let's go. Pluto does not like trying to enter in between these two fences. Come on. Guess I'm gonna have to get her, come here. Come here, Pluto. Am I gonna have to lead you through? Come here. This way, you're fine. There you go. This is, this is where we're gonna end today's video. We're gonna have a fun little adventure tonight and I'll share that in tomorrow's video. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.